happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Today is November 21st, 2022, and it is your Monday wake up call. I'm Keyshawn Graves, and I am excited for this conversation. I'm excited for this week. This is a week I feel like, I mean, we're 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 in beach body world we're in the body world so i feel like we always try to stay rooted in gratitude but i think that this is one of those weeks that uh that more people are encouraged to just take a sit uh take a seat back and just reflect on life reflect on the things that uh, they have been able to witness and do and see and help people achieve. And I just want to start this conversation by saying how grateful I am for each and every single one of you all uh, for the work that we do. We are this domino effect of positive change. And I've always wanted to be a part of something like that. And I just want to start off our wake up call by just saying how grateful I am for you and how grateful I am for the voice let's go ahead and get this show on the road let me bring in darren ashby for a little recognition what's up darren good morning Keyshawn. i'm grateful for you <laughs> <laughs> running this show and doing everything she does she's awesome brings the fire every day so all right we've got some great recognition today it's always great but you know what we got 31 new diamonds this week. That's pretty fantastic. So let's jump right in. Here are our newest diamond coaches, starting with Courtney Anderson, Trinity Bankas, Jennifer Becker, Amanda Blauer, Joel Burgos, Colleen Callahan, Jackie Christensen, Chelsea Church, Jose Colon, uh, Amalie Delisle, Sandra Deary, Veronique Fashan, Yannick Fenton Espinoza, Stephanie uh, for Goose, Debbie Gelna, and Kathy Grant. Now, Ethan Hefner, Katrina Huft, Stephen Jekmer, Kathleen Laplante Nadeau, Whitney Leon, Troy McKay, David Mullins, Gil Marie Pacheco, Lindsay Patterson, Jonathan Paulin, Sarah Reem, Shauna Ross, Paula Silveras, Emily Witt, and Brianne Woodley. Those are your newest diamond coaches, everybody. Fantastic. Things are happening. All right. Now for our newest star diamond coaches, here they are. Ellie Argamundo. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Argamundo. Uh, Caitlin Bilek, Heather Blanton, Megan Ditz, uh, Cindy Monet, Chrissy Prom, and Lena Smith. Way to go, new one-star diamond coaches. And we're not done, guys. We've got a two-star. Congratulations to Jamie Cassins. And we're still not done. We're going to jump it right up to eight-star diamond coach. Congratulations to Marie-Pierre Delonier. All right. That is it for recognition. And we had some recognition today. Fantastic. Everybody have a fantastic week. Make it a wonderful week. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And let's kick the call right back over to Keyshawn with some announcements and the call. Thanks, Darren. Have a great week yourself. Congratulations to all of those coaches, all of those teams that were represented this week. I have just a few announcements for you. The first announcement is all about Sure Thing. Have you done the sample workout yet? Uh, so many people have already done the sample workout. 800 people showed up live to do the body sample workout. That was the sample workout that Megan did live on Beachbody On Demand Interactive on Body. Um, but if you haven't, it's not too late. The sample workout lives in the Beachbody On Demand tile. It lives on body. Uh, you can find it in your back office in the product toolkits. Uh, here actually is a link to the sample workout because we just want to make sure that you don't miss it and that you try it out because once people are, once people test it, once people try it, uh, they're really fall in love with the program, the style of the program with Megan's training style and just it, with the program in general. Last week, we did a training week on the Beachbody Champions page, which if you haven't noticed, is now called Body Coach Basics. Uh, that's our new name for the Beachbody Champions page. 
So make sure that you turn on your notifications and that you are visiting the Body Coach Basics page. But last week in that page, we did a training week where we brought on Anisa, Anita Doucette, who talked a little bit about her journey. We brought on Kelsey Smith, who talked about how she's planning on launching the program. All of those trainings live in the guide section of that page. So go back to it, but make sure you definitely go to the Product Toolkit, which is located in the coach office under the Product Tools and Shareable Media. So take uh, take a second, take a beat away from your workout and go try the sample workout. I think you won't regret it. Uh, sure thing is coming up. It's launching next month in just a couple weeks, actually, December 6th to coaches and preferred customers and December 20th for our VIP early access. The second announcement that I have for you is all about this contest that we're doing. We've been talking a lot more about eat more dessert. What does that mean? That means that we are giving people different ways to consume Shakeology. I know that I love to shake it up with water. That's me, that's my thing, don't you judge me. <laughs> but we know that there are so many different ways that people can go about consuming this incredibly nutritious uh, 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 the powder that we can make into desserts, we can make into shakes. But for this particular contest, this is a you plus three people in Disney World. You get to win three day tickets to Disney World. That's four nights at a Disney World resort plus the airfare. And this is how you enter to win the contest. You create a fun dessert recipe reel. So you use your social media account, you create a reel. You can use whatever Shakeology flavor uh, you choose, but you create the reel with a dessert recipe and you tag at Shakeology, you tag at, at Beachbody and you use the hashtag contest and the hashtag eat more dessert. Follow Shakeology, follow Beachbody, try not to play any music because we don't want to limit your chances to, to winning by copyright infringement. But from now through December 5th, we are going to be picking, we're going to be choosing uh, one winner and that winner is going to get that prize. So it's them plus three people in Disney World. Uh, that's one of those gifts that's like, I'm already going to be drinking Shakeology. I'm already going to be testing these recipes, especially during the holidays, especially when friends and family are over. So might as well create a reel and 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 into your yourself into that that hat to Disney. Okay, the third and final announcement that I have for you is all about our Cyber Week, which begins tomorrow on the 22nd of November. Uh, this is one of our biggest weeks of the year. There's lots of deals. There's in incredible sales happening all throughout uh, this entire week through November 29th. So you can go to FAQ 4254. That'll give you all the details and everything you need to know. Uh, but all of this information can be found in the coach breaking news section of your coach online office. So if you missed anything or I went too fast, just know that you can go there. All this information lives there. Uh, but Enter yourself into that Disney. I'm trying to get to Disney too. All right, let's move on with this show because I think we might even have a couple super trainers hanging out in the back. I don't know, but we'll see at the end of the show. Okay, uh, this coach, I mentioned earlier uh, the domino effect of positive change that, that we're a part of. And what I love about the analogy of a domino effect that it just takes one hint, one catalyst, one poke, one thing, one change, and it affects other people, it affects other things, this domino effect. And today, Katie Krennic is going to be talking about how she has taken this simple invitation that she was offered and has now made it a domino effect and how we can approach something that might be scary for some, might be like, come on, you get an invite, you get an invite for others. But we definitely want to make sure that it's stress-free regardless. So uh, here to talk a little bit about stress-free 
inviting. Please help me welcome to a call. She's a six-star diamond coach. She is a two-time elite coach, 55 months in Success Club, and she's a mama and a wife. Please help me welcome to the call, Katie Krennick. Katie! Hi! I am so excited to be here. I am so happy to have you here, and I know that you have some really good stuff in store for us. So let's just jump right in with how you got started with Beachbody. So I got started with Beachbody, aka Body, when I was taking a dance fitness class, and my coach walked in wearing a pair of shorts for the first time. I had noticed her posting on social media about a new fitness routine she was doing, but there was something about her that day that made me stop and take notice. She had this confidence about her that wasn't there before. So after class, I pulled her aside and said, what are you doing? She told me Beachbody and she said she was going to sign up as a coach and asked if I wanted to be her first customer and if I wanted to join her boot camp which is freaking crazy because a few weeks before I went to see my doctor and was basically told I needed to lose weight for health concerns. So I signed up that night after class thinking I would only do this for a month, that I would quit like I do everything else. But here we are five years later and I haven't looked back since. Okay, so it started with some shorts. <laughs> Yeah, pair of shorts. <laughs> and the confidence, though, that comes from the person wearing those shorts, that was kind of like contagious. Like, what are I, you doing? I wanted what she had. And then the simplicity of come and do this with me, join my boot camp. So, Katie, that leads us in this whole idea of the simplicity of inviting. How do you go about from that catalyst, that that domino effect that it now has affected so many, how do you simplify the inviting process? Absolutely. So inviting is about having an actual connection with the other person. I am really passionate about this topic because I've been where you are before. As someone who's lost a hundred pounds, a simple invite was literally all the difference. If you're a brand new baby coach who just signed up and your upline tells you, surprise, one of our four vital behaviors as a coach is to go invite people to join you on your journey. You're probably like, what? You want me to do what? I've been there. And while at first it seems really intimidating, it doesn't have to be. We just have to flip that script and adjust our mindset towards inviting. When it comes to inviting, I thought the same thing you're probably thinking. I don't want to be that girl. You know the one I'm talking about. The one who's constantly sending out mass messages or cold invites to everyone in their friends list. But it absolutely doesn't have to be that way if you don't want it to. I personally tried to do this and it did not work for me. Y'all, I live in a small town where everybody knows everybody. And I didn't want to be that girl at the grocery store that people avoided. I didn't want people to think I was going to invite them to join my boot camp while in the milk section. Inviting is about having an actual connection, an invitation to help someone find their best self. Let me set the scene for you. You're having a party this weekend. You make this super cute flyer and you make a post on Facebook inviting everyone to come. Then what do you do? You go send that flyer to your mom, to your sister, your in-laws, your best friends, your neighbors, you go personally invite them to your party just in case they missed the post. It's the same thing with inviting to your boot camps or your new coach mentorship or whatever group you have going on at the moment. People don't know they can come to your party unless you invite them. Even though you made that post inviting everyone to come, people still don't think you're talking to them. They think that post is meant for someone else. After painting that scene, would you rather have a party of, well, I hope people saw my post and show up, or would you rather have a party where you know everyone's gonna come because you personally invited them? That is the power of a simple invitation. 
odds are your coach invited you. Am I right? Unless you're a unicorn who reached out first, but odds are you were stalking your coach and reached out for help. Or your coach saw you watching them and they reached out and asked if you wanted to join. Can you imagine your life right now if your coach hadn't invited you to this opportunity? I can't. I don't want to know what my life would look like without body because this opportunity has blessed my life in so many ways. Don't deny this blessing to someone else because you're scared to reach out to them. We have a gift to share. This opportunity can literally change someone's life. It's selfish of us not to share. The person you are so scared to invite probably needs you more than you know. Right now, they don't think they can do it. You have to show them that they can. And that starts with you reaching out and extending that invite to join you. Do it scared. Rip that Band-Aid off and just invite them. What's the worst that's going to happen? They tell you no? They ghost you? Maybe. But you just planted a seed for them. They're going to be thinking about your invite every time they watch your stories or they see your reels come across their page. They're going to start thinking in the back of their mind, if she can, maybe I can too. And if and when they're ready to start their journey, they're going to remember that you were the one that reached out to them. And they're going to join you when their time is right. I always say that people know when they're ready to join and not a minute before. But you better believe that I'm going to be there for them when they are. And, you know, we talk a lot or we've been talking a lot about health esteem lately. And I think that health esteem hits on exactly what you're talking about. It's this holistic change and it's this journey of the pursuit of just wanting to be better, do better, feel better. Mm -hmm. And um, and it goes beyond just the physical. It's truly the the mental. It's the it's the everything is so much. Everything. <laughs> so let me ask you, Katie, because you mentioned I didn't want to be that girl. Mm -hmm right? You're from right. a small town. You got a couple people who were like, I'm from a small town too in the comments. So how did you overcome that, that mindset? I don't want to be that girl mindset. So I just had to remember y'all that my coach asked me to join. And in return, that invitation changed the lives of my entire family. So instead of thinking, I don't want to be that girl, I became the girl that changes lives for a living from a simple invitation. So today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to keep inviting simple. Tip number one, don't overthink inviting. I feel like everyone wants the magic invite. That one invite that's going to get everyone to sign up. Guess what? There isn't one. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. What's going to get people to sign up is you showing up for your journey and you inviting from the heart. What does that mean? It means you need to be inviting from that positive headspace. And here are two ways you can do that. Post-workout. For me, it's after I work out. Especially right now with me doing Healthy Obsession, I feel the sense of accomplishment doing an hour-long workout. It gets me fired up, and that's something that we want others to feel and want, and we need to show them. I heard this on a quote, um, a training a few years ago, and it stuck with me. When you're on fire with your journey, you're on fire with your business. So if you aren't doing a program that lights you on fire and makes you want to share this opportunity with the world, I'm giving you full permission to switch programs so you can feel like a badass. After my workout, even though I almost died, like I feel amazing. I feel energized and I want to invite everyone to feel this way with me. 
immediately after my workout, I'm inviting because that's when I feel my best. Positive headspace. Another option you can do is invite after reading your PD, and that's your personal development that's personal to you and the season of life that you're currently in. Personal development is another vital behavior of a coach, and in my opinion, the most important. Your thoughts control your actions, so you want to make sure that you're working on building a positive thought environment for your business to grow. You can't grow a positive business from a negative mindset. After you've worked out your mind and filled it with positive thoughts, you should be in a great headspace to go and buy it. Put on some gangster rap or whatever music makes you want to get up and have a dance party for one and go invite. I personally jam out while I'm inviting. I put on my Spotify playlist and I just, I just invite. I make it fun. Jump on a Zoom with your coach friends and have an invite session, 10 to 15 minutes. So what happens if you're having an off day? I know some coaches might not agree with me, but I personally don't invite on those days. I want you to remember that those people you're inviting are more than just a box to be checked off every day on your business activity tracker. They're real people who needs us, who need you. Don't invite just to invite because it's something you have to do. No, invite because you truly want to change someone's life. That is the core of what we do as coaches. We want to help people. Don't forget that. It's not about you. It's about them. This doesn't mean, though, that you can use having an off day as an excuse to get out of inviting because you don't want to do it. Sometimes, my friend, you are just going to have to pull up your big girl or boy coaching pants and just do it. Tip number two is where are you inviting from? For me, I invite off of my stories and my posts, and this includes my reels. I don't make a new post until I've invited off of my previous one. When I say hard post, I mean that that is like posted to your wall and to your feed. Go invite from it. If not, that should be a reminder to be like, hey, maybe I need to go make a post. You should also be talking every single day in your stories about whatever group you have currently going on, whether that's a boot camp, that's what I call my bot group, a free week coaching trial, a new coach mentorship, a flash sale, a clean week, a three day detox group. You should always have something to invite to. Plan by month and by week to keep it easy. Sit down and plan out your month ahead of time so you know exactly what you're going to be talking about each week. With the new body block set up, we know that our boot camps are going to kick off the first Monday of the month. So people can choose whether they're going to do a body block or they're going to do a bod program. Planning out your month takes out the guesswork of having to figure out, well, well what am I inviting to today? And it doesn't confuse your followers. I have also found that planning my weekly posts, that helps too. Like how many days are you going to do a hard post? How many days are you going to do reels? Set that intention the week before. For me and my team, we plan out our posts Saturday mornings after our team call. We sit down with our calendars and we write down post ideas. For example, Monday is always some form of a motivational post. Tuesday could be a normalized post like Let's normalize having loose skin. Let's normalize being freaking tired. Let's normalize not bouncing back after baby. Wednesday could be a workout Wednesday. You can do a fun reel. You can do a move of the day. I always say that Thursday is like my time lapse Thursday. So time lapse, time lapse yourself playing with your kids, cooking dinner, doing laundry, something not fitness related. Friday, you could do a fun fact Friday. So list fun facts about you and share with your followers. This will also help you find your tribe. Saturday, you can share about your day type of a post. Like, what are you doing throughout Saturday? And Sunday should be a coaching post. Share about how amazing this community is. Your post, guys, that's the highlight reel. Your stories, that is the everyday life. 
the nitty gritty. I do have a story sequence that I teach my coaches as well. So we have an order of stories. So my followers know exactly what to expect. And it's very, very simple. It's a high five in the mirror in the morning with a timestamp. The next story is a picture of my pre-workout. And we explain what that pre-workout does for us. Like it helps us not drink sodas. It helps us not go to Starbucks every day. And then we time lapse our workouts and we explain how these hour long workouts are our stress release. This takes away the stress of having to come up with content. Then throughout the rest of your day, you're talking and sharing your everyday life and what group you currently have going on. Tip number three, keep the invite simple. I don't know about you, but I have mom brain bad. I can seriously forget something almost instantly. If someone sends me a novel long message, odds are I'm going to get sidetracked and I'm not going to read it. If you, you want to keep your invites short and sweet and to the point. And y'all, I know it is so easy to what a word vomit everything we do because we love it so much. But we have to remember who our audience is. I am in a current busy season of life, so odds are others are in the same season. If this is you and you're currently word vomiting, guess what? I did it too. I sent the novel long messages where Instagram wouldn't even let me message because it was so long. I've been there. It's a learning curve. Don't beat yourself up. Let me walk you through what my invites look like. Let's say I posted a workout clip or I posted about my next boot camp starting soon. I would go see who's watched my stories and I would message them something kind of like this. Hey, Emery, I noticed you follow my stories a little. Have you ever thought about joining us for some at-home workouts, easy to follow nutrition, and virtual accountability? That's it. Another way you can word it is kind of like this. Amanda girl, I see you watching my stories. Have you ever thought about jumping in and joining us for one of my boot camps? It's sweet, it's simple, but it's effective. And it's not a cold invite because they're watching my journey happen, but they just haven't decided if they can do this or not themselves yet. Let's say you make a hard post about the coaching opportunity. Your post might look something like this. Members want it. This is how you might invite off of that post. Alexis girl, I saw you stop by and liked my coaching video, my coaching photo from yesterday. Thank you so much for your support. Wondering if you are interested in learning more about joining the coaching opportunity or just supporting. Either way, I look forward to talking with you more. In that invite, you just thank them for supporting you. Yes, you also invited them to the coaching opportunity, but you thanked them for showing you love. Even if they don't join right away, having that support from your followers is just as important. I know I said there was no secret sauce, but me and my team swear by voice memos. It personalizes the message and lets the person you're inviting know it's genuine, that it's not another copy paste message. This allows them to hear your voice, to hear that excitement about what you have to offer them. I swear, most of the time, people don't think we're real people. They are shocked when they get a voice memo from me and I sound just like I do in my stories. So this is what a voice memo would sound like for me. Hannah girl, I see you watching my stories. I want you to know that I think you would love our community. Have you ever thought about joining me? How freaking special does Hannah feel that I personally invited her to join my boot camp. You can use these simple invites for whatever group you have going on. Just change the wording and invite to whatever group you're recruiting to. I also want to I also want to mention that if you invite super early in the morning, address it. 
in your invite, you can say, I am so sorry it's early mom life, but this is the only time I get to myself. And then lead into your invite. Same thing if you work your business late at night. I am so sorry it's super late, but this is my only alone time. But I wanted to see if you were interested in learning more about my, and then you would fill in the blank to whatever group you're inviting to. I want you to think about the kind of message you would like to be on the receiving end of. One that would get you excited and use that as motivation the next time you go to invite. Invite how you want to be invited. And I know what you're going to say before even having you say it. I have the same people viewing my stories. Well, that should be a prompt to you as a business owner that you should be making more connections and growing your network on social media. Again, y'all, there is no magic invite. There is, there is no invite that works for all. You have to remember that you aren't selling body. You're selling you. What do you have to offer people? How can you help people? We have a gift to share and it starts with you. Inviting to this opportunity doesn't mean you're being that girl. If you love what you do as a coach, why wouldn't you be fired up every day and want to invite the entire world to join you? I know for me, when I feel amazing, I want everyone to feel the same way. I want to help the mom who's lost herself to motherhood because she doesn't recognize herself in the mirror anymore. The newly postpartum mom who's standing in her closet looking at all her clothes that don't currently fit and is thinking she's never going to get her body back. The woman who wears jeans in the summer because she's insecure about her legs. The woman who makes her kids stand in front of her for pictures so she can hide behind them. I want to help the girl who was made fun of in school because she was always known as the bigger girl. The girl who didn't get asked to the prom. The girl who isolated herself from her friends because she put on weight and didn't want anyone to see her because that was me. How dare I be selfish and not share this gift with someone who needs it? Somebody out there, they need this. Whether they admit it or not, they do. You inviting them is just that. It's an invitation for them to experience their best self too. It's not a marriage contract. It's not until death do us part. It is a simple invite to help them if they're interested. If they're not, cool. I'm going to go find someone that is. Because someone out there needs you right now in this moment. And all you have to do is invite them. And remember, inviting doesn't have to be limited to social media. I was invited from a dance fitness class. And now I teach because of it. Your next coach isn't going to break into your house, guys. You need to get out and go talk to people. Your coworkers, your neighbors, your friends from high school. Go talk to the people you already know. Get out of the house. Go to community events. I once had a coach hit diamond on my team from word of mouth only. Use social media because it's a great way for you to help reach more people, but don't forget the people who are local to you. Oh, KT Krennic. Oh my goodness. First of all, thank you for this reminder to all of us that it's not just about, um, like if we're if we're if we're ready but like you are no matter where you're at like thank goodness you didn't wait until 100 pounds later nice. to start thank goodness your coach didn't wait until fill in the blank 
to invite you. And I think that that's one of the biggest reminders coming from this call is that it doesn't matter where you're at on your journey, you have the ability to impact the domino effect. I've been talking about the domino effect mm -hmm. this call. And right where you're at in this moment, in this moment of strength that you are building, I'm not even going to say weakness, in this moment of strength that people are building, they have the power to impact the domino effect. And Katie, I think that you are such an incredible testament to that. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing Absolutely. so many good tips. Uh, you Please make sure you go look at these comments. Mm -hmm. Like people are, Lord, they are, Teresa is, you know, just saying thank you. She was feeling hopeless. Like there are just so many uh, great comments and I don't want you to miss them. I have two more questions for you because we're talking about the simplicity of inviting. You have just laid it out so beautifully, so simplified on how we can, from right where we're at, impact change and 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 begin to invite people to do what we do holistically not just for the physical uh right. you know not just for the community but this holistic change but who are the first two people that you helped as we talk about the simplicity of inviting um my co-workers i literally i marched into their office and i said hey i signed up to be a coach you're gonna do this with me and they were like, okay. So I didn't really give them an option. I was like, hey, we work in close quarters. I'm going to make you do this with me. And they did it. And they're still with me today. I love it. I feel like that might be a little mini challenge as we go into this week. Y'all, yeah. for those who are listening. Um, okay. So my final question, obviously, the simplicity of, of inviting has impacted your life tenfold. It has mm -hmm. impacted uh, people's life that you have now come in contact with. How would you say the simplicity of, of, of inviting has affected your life and overall health esteem? Yes. So y'all, my coaching journey, it started with that simple invite. That simple invite led to me losing a hundred pounds that led me to a community of moms who are determined to instead of losing ourselves to become the best version of ourselves with fitness nutrition mindset and community the whole health esteem i'm looking at myself in the mirror every day i'm not running from it anymore i'm proud of where i am and this journey that i'm on I would have never high five myself in the mirror before. I'm actually wearing shorts out in public. Um, and now instead of wearing an oversized shirt to the gym, I'm going out in a sports bra because I feel good. I feel strong and I feel confident. I stand next to my kids in pictures and I'm no longer positioning them in front of me to hide myself at the soccer field so no one can see me. Now I'm basically pushing them out of the way. I just remember being miserable at my eight to five thinking there's got to be something more for me. And there's no greater feeling than this freedom that I get from coaching. And there's no better feeling than helping others find this freedom too. And that my friends is the domino effect in full circle. Katie, thank you so much for being our guest today. Y'all, this is definitely a call that you'll want to come back to, that you'll want to make sure that your coaches watch. Katie, you gave some really great scripts and great things that people can, can use to follow to have kind of like a system so yes. to speak, for posting. So all that is in here. You might have to watch the replay or re-listen to this on the podcast. But Katie, we appreciate you so much. I'm going to let you go. Thank you. And have an incredible rest of your week. Happy Thanksgiving to you. You too. All right.
Y'all, that was such a good call. And I'm just going to finish it like this. We got a little cherry on top because, I mean, good grief. I'm over here like fighting back tears, right? She just, Katie just really laid it out there on how we can simply invite. And we've been talking about this domino effect and how grateful I am for our ability to impact change in such a positive way. And as we talk about the simplicity of inviting, we would be remiss to just talk about the programs that are coming up, which I know we're all very, 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 very excited about Sure Thing. We're all still hype about Healthy Obsession. We're all still hype about XP Sweat and Sculpt. Uh, but we got to make sure that we remember the programs that get added to the BOD member library. So once they 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 launch, they launch in what's called our VIP early access. So everyone gets it uh, before it's made available to everyone on Beachbody On Demand. And then it gets added to what we call the BOD member library. And now it's a way for us to re-invite people. So it's a way for us to reconnect with people who may have fallen off. Maybe they started and they fell off. It's a way for us to connect with people who already have Beachbody On Demand. It's a way for us to connect with people who have been waiting on the fence for uh, this incredible program to finally be added. Well, the wait is over and I have the creators on to put a little cherry on top of our Monday wake up call. Please help me welcome to the call. We have Jericho McMatthews yeah. and Elise Joan, the creators of Fire and Flow. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Monday, ladies. Happy, Happy library drop day. Yes. 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 Okay. So today is the day. So talk to us. How are you feeling about our ability to reach more people now that Fire and Flow is in the Beachbody On Demand member library? It's about damn time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is such That's a great time. program. I really think for the holidays, especially, it's the, you know, this, we had health esteem in mind when we created it. And I think you guys will all be surprised by how, how intentional fire days are and how there's so much personal growth and development in fire days. And then you'll probably be surprised at how much a flow, you know, really challenges you in a very Zen way. And I just think our joy and our friendship with each other really showed through in this program. And, I mean, and the whole theme of this call, by the way, this uh, this is the perfect program. It, it truly is. I mean, you you feel for anyone that's that's fallen off, for anyone that's like feels like they've lost themselves, for anyone, it's for anyone. I mean, you 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 feel additional support having both Elise and I, our incredible cast. We have a range of options that were designated. You know, you you not only get the modifier, but you have an intensifier. You you see us talking you through and meeting you wherever you are and you really do feel, feel held in this program and supported mm -hmm. and just um spoken to like a friend it's just an incredibly supportive amazing program and so many people have not experienced it yet so we're just yeah for this, I think this this is great and there's there were so many launches this year and i know you know money can be tight so we're really excited yeah. that this is now free for everyone. And as Jericho said, you know, one of the myths that we both try to debunk is that you have to murder yourself or kill yourself in order to feel results. We, right. She and I both have the same philosophy, which is the opposite of that. All of the workouts are 30 minutes or less. We have 15 minute workouts too. But the idea is we want to empower you to feel your best. And like Jericho says, I'm telling you, if you're an elite athlete who's done all our amazing beach body programs, you are going to be challenged by this program. If you have people, I loved hearing what Katie said, inviting people, you know, people may not be ready just to jump in with a one hour hardcore workout. This is a hardcore workout sneakily, but it's mainly about feeling good, feeling welcomed. You're going to feel you're just going to feel so empowered and so will your clients. So if you have, you know, I have my mom and dad visiting for the holidays and I have my dad doing fire and flow. We are doing fire day today, day one. We're starting with, with Jericho uh, pumping it up with some upper body fire and, uh, and we're going to do it to, you know, because they, it's just for everyone of all ages. And, and we're so excited that it's now free and included in the membership. And, and and what a great way to make memories with your parents oh, yeah. also exactly. doing the program together. I know that this the holiday season is about making memories. And I don't know about you guys, but there's no greater memory than like having my people working out with me alongside me. Like, oh. 
pinch me. Yeah, I'm flying so, to my mom today. So at least maybe we can do like some FaceTime this week with family. Like we'll do like some, I would like, love that. You know, I love I, Jericho's family. family. Flow, family. Like family. I love Jericho's mom and sister. We we have a great time. I'd love that. I would love that. Can you guys please post some of that on social so we can kind of be a part yes, of that too? So down. Please. Yes. I want to be a part of that. Um, so people are definitely saying that they are excited that it's dropping in the Bob member library. And Michelle Benson is like, you want the journal. Uh, yes. Shinovia easily is saying, I love this program and the journal all caps. So Thank you. Yes. Uh, obviously you mentioned money being tight. Uh, you know, talk to us a little bit about the journal really quick. Yeah, you, The journal is magic. We, Elise and I, you know, back when the program initially launched, we, pretty quickly found ourselves explaining to people the most important piece of equipment in this program is the journal. So yes, of course. Yeah. We've, we've got like weights and, and, um, and our loops <laughs> and our bodies, but this journal is such a game changer and it's, it meets you wherever you are. These little prompts are super duper quick, but they, again, it's like, it, it has the, they have the ability to unlock and, and sort of help you, just find your best self in, in a moment. And it just changes your attitude has the power to really help bring you out of a funk, kind of maybe show you a different perspective, help you learn about yourself, help you unlearn things maybe, uh, and just a really beautiful, positive way. Yeah. I mean, mic drop on the content of the journal with that, but I will just add from a financial element, the investment, the couple of dollars you spend on the journal will be given back to you 100 fold mm -hmm. in your productivity, in your goal reaching. I know we're talking to like really empowered coaches. You guys just got a great inspiring speech. This is a great gift. I've been in for me in the holidays. I grew up with not a lot of money. And so right. all of our gifts were were made or, or intentional or quality time. Giving someone the gift of this journal and this program, which is now free and included, is one of the best gifts you can give yourself, first of all, but to give to others. I plan on gifting it to everyone I care about and love. And, uh, you know, and, and as far as the investment goes, it really is an investment in yourself that pays forward. It's not it's not it's an investment, not an expenditure, if that makes sense. And you'll feel like Jericho and I are like, you know, in your ear, just giving you a little extra encouragement. And as Jericho said, it's quick. It's easy. It's not designed to have you sitting down for hours. It's designed to get you right to your goals, your self-expression, your confidence in less than five minutes a day. And you'll hear our voices pretty clearly on, on the fire and flow days. So we're there they with really, They layer in, at least like if, if anyone's listening and you haven't tried the program, you haven't done it, you haven't seen the journal. It's not just this um, sort of separate piece of the program that doesn't fit. We are coaching you and talking you through these messages every week has a focus every day in the program has a focus and a prompt, but they're organized in kind of four categories. So, you know, it's, um, they all fall in line with a the theme week over week. And so, you know, we tap into it. You get to kind of work on yourself in the journal mode, but then you, we come back to it and we talk through it, those topics, uh, during the workouts as well. So depending on your learning style, you know, a lot of people might not pick up on something right away when they do the prompt, but then what you hear during the workout kind of makes the aha moment, you know, come to you. It's, it's really, really cool. Um, just the personal development component of this program is, is honestly one of my, my favorites, if not my favorite. And, and we've heard that so much. And I think that it fits in perfectly. At least she started the conversation by saying you guys kind of like set the tone for health esteem. It very much so fits right into health esteem because we're on this journey of of self-love and self-improvement, loving exactly who we are today and also loving how we're getting stronger and better at, at all at the same time. So we appreciate you guys for creating such an incredible program like Fire and Flow that has the ability to also think very well-rounded and holistic about this health esteem journey that we're on. And we can't wait to get more people doing it. Yes, yes. As long as we are alive, we have another chance to get it right, to get something right. And I just, I think it's um, an incredible opportunity.
and, and, and I, I really hope you guys don't miss it. <laughs> yeah, and I know you guys will feel the authenticity. This is who Jericho and I have always been. You know, health esteem mm -hmm. is, has has been you know who we are, and I know you will feel that. We we and these are you know we share things in the workouts that that we're still working on. You know, I'm not saying like come up here and join me on my pedestal of awesome enlightenment. We're saying hey, right. we're here. Look, I got I have challenges setting healthy boundaries. Here's some things that can help me, and let's flow with it. And and same with Jericho, and I think that's really important to. Um, um, that authenticity, that truth, that genuine compassion and care that we have for you. I, I know you'll feel it. We've had a lot of feedback now from people who bought it originally and all of their feedback is not just the amazing results because they, there are fire results. At the end of the day, it's a beach body program, you know, and we'll always deliver that. But, but the feedback has mostly been, it has transformed people's perspective, people's yeah. choices. It's it elevated their confidence. And it's such a perfect program to share with your communities during this health esteem um, rebrand. for it, right, exactly. <laughs> Well, ladies, I definitely think that we have another opportunity to get it right. Like Jericho said, um, if you coaches want to learn more about Fire and Flow, you can go to FAQ 5347. There's also a product toolkit available for Fire and Flow. So you can go learn more about the product, the product, Lord have mercy, about the program. <laughs> but get in your back office get in beach body on demand and do it try it you you, you got to do it you got to share it all right jericho elise thank you for popping in with us we thanks will for see you guys on the having us. yeah right. we always love to connect with you guys thanks for having us and we have we have live workouts real quick on body next oh. week oh yes yes next week we're going to back to back all next week monday through thursday but jericho's doing a fire workout is it monday that's fire and flow the 28th yeah Ooh. Is that you got to show up and see. You got to show up yes, and see. It, is. So it, it starts on the 28th and it, and it is alternating starting yeah. on Monday. <laughs> and if Jericho is okay with it, I may pop into her fire workout. Yes, please. <laughs> I love it. So this means, y'all, coaches, if you are helping someone get started, the, one of the best ways that you can help them get started with would be with the Beachbody On Demand Total Solution Pack. Make sure you add on BOD plus BODY the annual. That way you can have access to Fire and Flow. You can also have access to all of the BODY uh, classes that they're going to be teaching starting on the 28th next week. And our Fire and Flow rides are in there too. So those yes. can be layered into the program calendar, the main calendar. And they're awesome. And we get rides. Yo, and you get yes. rides. Bonus, we have all the bonus content. <laughs> Y'all, okay. Well, tickle me pink. I'm excited even more so because I get to like ride the bike also with y'all. Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies, we're going to let you guys go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Everyone thank else you. have an incredible week and we will see you all next week. Bye y'all. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you.